Here's a CCI and a Remington side by side. I've been having some problems in one of my antique rifles firing the Thunderbolts by Remington. And so yesterday before I left the range, I just wanted to throw inside the CCIs and see if that made a difference and it cycled fine and it cycled every single one. So I took both the rounds out and I laid them side by side. And the biggest thing that I noticed was if you can see it, is the Remington on the right has more of a cone at the lip going up as to where the CCI is more of a flush stamped one. And my ejector on the antique rifle has been having a ton of problem with that. So if you do have an antique 22, remember that it is the ejection port is made for a stamped case, not a molded one. So CCI might be better than the Remington Thunderbolt. Even though the Thunderbolts, they do work good inside three different Mar Marlin 60s, the Glenfield, the 1022, the Ruger Mark I, they work great. Not so great in the antique lever actions. I mean, they're almost the same exact size. I don't know if you can see that. But it's just that little lip is causing the extractor not to hit it right. It's very hard to see. Let's see. You can see how it angles up. And that's causing problem on the extractors. So if you have an old rifle, don't mess with it too much because it might actually just be the round. Just try a different round and keep it all original.